just a few 8 to 13 year olds take their place on the grid for the Honda Cadet race sponsored by Zipcart. Daryl Taylor and Neo Phipps, Alfie Rigby and Sonny Smith from Clifford, Brown, Cordell, Ginchard, Stewart and Belinsky in the top 10. There's quite a few more to chase them down. Kian Berta and Oliver Greenall will give chase with several drivers trying to pursue them. There's plenty of them on this final grid. So let's get ourselves underway. We get a good start from the front pack. A few of them left behind at the mix. Oh, and a couple of them have actually uh, tagged the cone there on the start line. You're not supposed to do that. So the Honda Cadets make their way through. A little bit of a scruffy start there. The carts were all over the place, but uh, start has let them go. Ooh. It's the 19 that leads it as Daryl Taylor. Bit of a wobble, bit of shoving further back. It's all getting a little bit heated into the hairpin. Is everybody going to get through OK? We've got three, four carts wide in the mid pack. They just about settled themselves, although one cart has decided to go right off the circuit. That's the 31 there, I think, of Justin Brewer, who had no option but to use the runoff area. And I think we've got somebody off at the Bruno Chicane. He was lucky to uh, get back on the track without collecting anybody there, but uh, got it done anyway. Here's a change for the lead. Neo Phipps coming through on the 39 cart. His mum must, must have loved the uh, Matrix, Jake, I'm sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So Neo Phipps takes himself into the lead. Sonny Smith managed to get through as well into second position. Daryl Taylor has dropped from the lead to third. Archie Brown, Alfie Rigby and Dan Ginchard are giving chase. So the drivers make their way through the second lap of this Shennington Super Prix circuit. Down to the hairpin once again. Is Neo Phipps going to be able to hang on to this one from Sonny Smith? It will be very tough as the drivers continue to knit their way through. Justin Brewitt is actually now having a bit of a scrap himself. So he's uh, made up uh, a bit of the time that he lost there on the first lap. So everybody works their way through. Oh, spinner in the mid corner. That's the 54 that's gone around. Dan Ginchard, who was in P6. And we've lost the 22 of Dale Whitaker as well. Carts being spat off left, right and center is up the inside. Now comes the move from the seven of Archie Brown. Brown comes through into second position. Let's watch again. Two incidents. I think we're going to see the second one up the inside. That's the 22. See, he lost it mid corner. Try to back out of it, but unfortunately, couldn't hit the brake soon enough and ended up spinning himself out. There was another car, the 54 went round as well, I think. Is that Daniel Ginchard as well, Jake? Yeah, Dan Ginchard, who was in the top six, now is recovering. Uh, he's down in 29th position as a result of that spin. Real disaster. So Ginchard and Whitaker now drop to the back with a lot of homework to do here at Sheddington. The leaders, though, Archie Brown in front of Neo Phipps. Sonny Smith still there in third position on the 95. Not for long, though. Oh, the leader's going to go down to fourth, potentially fifth. fifth. He has gone down to fifth. Wow. Fifth place for Archie Brown, led it into Wilkins, came out in fifth place, and that is not the Archie Brown we know and love. It was very, very unusual to see somebody of his quality losing five places, but once one goes up the inside and the rest of them line up behind, there's not much you can do, and he's down there in fifth place. A little bit of a gap to make up. Here's a move for third. That's Daryl Taylor on Alfie Rigby, I think, has got through no problem at all, or is that Rigby having already got past Taylor, and then uh, the positions yeah, are changed is, back, so Rigby now third again. Yeah, that is Rigby on the 36, so he's made the place back, lost it, and then made it, made it back as the rest of the carts come through. Bruno Chicane. Looks like Oliver Greenall, Connor Clifford and Kian Berta leading the charge in sixth position downwards. Greenall started P12, Jake, so he's in sixth place, made up six. He's somebody I thought, there he is, I thought would be making up places. Oliver Greenall has got the qualities, so he's made up six places, but if we're looking to make up more, wants to be on the podium, but got a bit of work to do to get up to the top five. And the top five now are Linus Stern again. Roman Belinsky and Oliver Stewart we just saw going through the picture as they battle just outside the top ten with the likes of Michael Gibbons and Nathan Clifford. Uh, Carl Casabante is in that lot as well with Marcus Luzio, Kasper Scusa as well. Oh, battles for the position and that is Archie Brown going back down the order, going back up the order I should say, sorry. We squabble again and there's a very, very tight line to get through on the inside line but we just about avoid the carnage and contact despite the fact there was a little bit of nudging there but Neo Phipps is your leader, second now is Alfie Riggs, uh, Alfie Rigby I should say, sorry. Sonny Smith is there in third position for the moment, Archie Brown fourth and in fifth place is Daryl Taylor. Up in the hairpin, that was Marcus Luzio on the 88, making a nice clean move, but uh, plenty of battles all the way down the field. I don't mean to cut across, but Kian Berta, I think, has just moved his way up as well. He's gone up into seventh place, just behind Oliver Green, old Colley, uh, Connor Clifford in eighth place from Lorenzo Cordell and Justin Brewer. So we've got two battles for five carts in a line. So we've got a battle for first and a battle for sixth, each involving five carts. And I think that's Alfie Rigby having gone into the lead now. So Rigby leads the way. 
Phipps is down to, I think, second. It might even be third with Sonny Smith having got back through. Great pictures from the drone above Shennington as they work their way through the Bruno chicane. But that is definitely Alfie Rigby now in the lead in front of Archie Brown. Archie Brown in the seven has come through to second position now in front of Phipps, Rigby and Daryl Taylor. This is the thing about uh, Archie Brown there. He lost those four places to go from first to fifth in Wilkins a couple of laps ago, but he's got the quality to maintain his composure and know that the race isn't over at that point, got plenty of time left. Kian Berta now up into sixth position further back, as up to fourth place goes Daryl Taylor. But yes, Kian Berta has got past Oliver Greenall with Clifford Cordell and Bruard closing up. Belinsky, Gibbons and Stewart are not too far away either. Look at the scrap for the victory now, as Rigby has to defend to the inside line. It's going to be three wide on the exit. Someone's going to have to back down from the chase, but Rigby is still leading. Kian Berta leads the chasing back in sixth position with Greenall, Clifford, Cordell and Brewer chasing back up into the inside line. That's the 95 of Sonny Smith picking his way past Daryl Taylor. So Brown is in third. Second is Neo Phipps, but Alfie Rigby leads the way here on the 36. And now Phipps is having to go with him on the inside line. Archie Brown is trying to slip... Uh, Make, make his way back on the inside line. He gets alongside Neo Phipps initially, then has to back down out of it. Meanwhile, defending for the lead, Alfie Rigby is hanging on to this for dear life in front of Phipps, Brown, Smith and Taylor with Berta, Greenall, Clifford, Cordell and Justin Brewer behind. Looks like there's three laps to go, I think, as they cross the line that time. Just about a minute on the clock as they come up to Stratford Hairpin one more time. Watch Brown, yeah. watch Rig Brown. Yeah, but Rigby's going to defend this one. Brown trying to go around the outside of the two of them. That's not going to work, but the outside by side. Can Brown hold oh, he's on? He's going to make second? it to yes. second place, though. He's gone round the outside of the hairpin and trying to start up the inside there is the 95 of Sonny Smith. I said watch Archie Brown because I've seen him pull off a few moves like that in the past and he's made it stick here to move up into second position. Just watching the battle from 15th down as Daniel Paran Smith runs in front of Luzio Scusa, Casibanti and Harry James and we've got a great scrap in the leaders. Now look, the top five battle has been caught by the Berta, Greenall and Clifford chase. So Kian Berta made a good move there. He's looking for another move, a bit of wheel banging. Has he held on to that or has it all gone pear shaped? He's through, he's gone up on the inside of Daryl Taylor. So with two laps to go, it's now a 10-way scrap for the victory. Rigby leads from Brown, Phipps, Berta, Taylor, Greenall, Clifford, Sonny Smith down to eighth position, Cordell and Bruin round the outside. Archie Brown has another crack at Alfie Rigby. He has to come across very quickly indeed to stop Neo Phipps coming through. And now we've got the 14 of Connor Clifford on the inside of the 64 of Greenall as he tries to squeeze him out to the chicane, back up the inside of the cart in front of Kian Berta, and he has to back out of it. But that was brave stuff indeed there from Connor Clifford, getting himself stuck in and rolling his sleeve up. Alfred Rigby on the 36, they'll get the last lap boys, they go across the line this time. What a battle this is in Honda Kadan, it always it's, delivers action. It's more than 10 now, because look, we've got Gibbons, Belinsky is in there, Stewart and Clifford are not far away either. As we go into the last lap, there's 14 of them scrapping away for the victory. They come through Cafe for the last time, and they are practically line astern as they come through. So Rigby in front of Brown, Phipps in third, Taylor, Berta, Clifford, Greenall, Cordell, Bruin and Sonny Smith in the top 10. Here we go, round the outside. That is Daryl Taylor trying to make a move on Phipps and he's lost Brown. So Kian Berta is up to P4. Kian Berta could make it onto the podium here if he keeps this up. So it's Rigby, Brown and Phipps. Rigby defends from Brown. Brown has to cut back through the Bruno Chicane, trying to make his way through. Good overtaking move in the mid-pack there from Justin Brewer. I think he's got past Lorenzo Cordell, but the final run through to Hanger and up towards Wilkins. Rigby's going to try and hold on to this. Is he going to get there? I think he'll just hang on to this. There's going to be side by side. Brown's gone away on the inside. Oh, it looks like Rigby's had to take to the grass. Brown is going to get the victory. Cut across, they're still pushing and shoving, but it's Brown who wins it. Phipps in second from Berta, Taylor Greenall and Rigby. Let's watch again. So Brown's made the move on the inside very late, admittedly, on Rigby. We don't know if there was contact. Rigby has to take to the grass, but Brown is going to get the victory in front of Neo Phipps. And with penalties for both Kian Berta and Daryl Taylor, it promotes third position for Oliver Greenall. But it's Archie Brown who wins the SP play here at Shennington.